They hate when you elevate They stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate They never believed that I would really fly, I had to go demonstrate I had to set them What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damien Cryer And I am back with another video I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. If you have not subscribed to the Cryer family, guys, what are you waiting on? All you got to do is turn that bell on so you are subscribed to the channel. By being subscribed only means you are subscribed, guys. To get the notifications, you must have the bell on every time I drop a video. Let me ask you guys something. Am I dropping too many videos? Sh should I chill out? Y'all want me to just fall back? Damien, stop uploading so many videos, man. I mean, I've been going so crazy lately, man that I'm applying pressure. I'm not even giving you guys a chance to even watch the first video before I drop another video and then drop another video. I'm just kidding, guys. But anyway, welcome to the channel. If you are new to the channel, um, I see like I got like a lot of people commenting in my recent video saying that they just subscribed to the channel. So for you, those of you who just subscribed to the channel, I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, and welcome to the family. Also for the new people, if you don't know, I have another YouTube channel where I do pranks seven days a week, every single day, called Damien Cryer. I will be putting a link in the description box down below, so you can go on over to the Damien Cryer channel and follow me right now. We are on a road to 50,000 subscribers over on that channel, man, so thank you. Speaking of the prank channel, I'm uploading videos every single day, seven days a week, over on Facebook, that channel, page as well it's called the crier family so go on over there and follow me right now if you haven't already follow me guys i got a blur out so i'm in the sun it is like hot out here today so look guys it's been a whole lot of hype going on about popeyes and these ghost pepper wings so i'm like well let me see what's going on with these ghost pepper wings because i haven't had them yet so i'm thinking to myself let me go ahead and pull up on popeyes and see what's going on so as i'm actually going to popeyes pulling up at the drive through they got this big old display screen like a big old kiosk or whatever that you call it like a display board and it says ghost pepper wings are here i'm like okay so they do got these ghost pepper wings so let me go ahead and try these ghost pepper wings so i went ahead and ordered me they had them six i think a six uh pack or a 12 pack of them so i end up getting the one that had 12 pieces so yeah this is the, them right here and i had a choice of different type of sauces that i might have wanted to try so i went with the sweetheart i asked the lady at the drive through that were they spicy she said them very spicy them very spicy so i'm like well let me go ahead and give it a try and just in case they was too spicy i went ahead and grabbed me a bottle of water to rinse these things down with man so i'm gonna get into this man and try these out you know let me know in the comment section guys if you guys have tried these wings out now, i'm not even gonna lie man they look like they're not even fresh first of all i asked for 10 of them one two three four five six oh maybe i only got six pack i asked for 10 of them but she gave me six but she only charged me like five bucks and some change so maybe she did give me the right ones let me find out that she gave me a six pack and charged me for a 10 piece. It's gonna be a serious problem because I'm going back up there. But anyway, we finna agree to check these out, man, and see what all the hype is about. So guys, if there's like a weird glare from the sun, I do apologize in advance. It is extremely hot out here in Houston, guys. From what I seen on the news this morning was that uh, we are gonna break records this week right here. This is Thursday. They said this weekend going into next week is going to be weather breaking records, guys. So, you know, I'm a little bit concerned about that because it's like it's just too hot to do anything, man. What if we did, man, could y'all imagine if we lived in a world where there was no air conditioning, no refrigeration? Could y'all remember? I mean, could y'all imagine that? And we also got to keep in mind, there's people who's really going through this. The people that's living on the streets, that's homeless, they're really going through this in real life. People in other countries that don't have water or air conditioning or I'll say cold water. It's real out here, man. But anyway, I'm going to get into this. First, I'm going to try one of these without the sauce on them. And that's one thing I hate about going to Popeye's. If you go to, well, I ain't going to just say Popeye's. Any restaurant that you go to, 
if it's extremely busy, extremely packed in the drive-through, that means that the food has a high turnover rate, which means they're constantly cooking the food, so you got fresh food coming out. Versus if you pull up, like when I pulled up, I was the only truck in the driveway. As a matter of fact, I looked around and made sure that that Popeyes was actually open because there was nobody in the driveway. So when I went, these chicken wings obviously was already sitting up somewhere. So I don't know, man. I'm gonna give them a try. I'm gonna try one without the sauce and then I'm gonna try the other ones with the sauce. So let's see what these ghost pepper wings is about. I'm still, oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I'm still trying to find the ghost. They got a little spice to them. They got a little spice to them. They're not really what I thought they would be. But again, I think it's because when I pulled up, these wings were actually sitting for a minute. These wings are far from fresh, guys. So we're gonna go ahead and try one with the sauce. This is the sweet sauce, guys, right here. So we're gonna go ahead and get that a try. I hate that I got this glare from the sun, guys, but it can't be helped. It cannot be helped. Okay. Sauce not too bad. It's not too bad. Y'all ever stop to think, man? In this day and age, it is awful to be a chicken. A chicken doesn't have a chance in this world. A fish has better chance than a chicken. Cause boy, everybody got chicken. Woo, this sauce is actually pretty good. I really wanted to give like my full assessment of this, but I can't because they're not fresh. But I will give you guys my overall opinion. Once we get done, only got three more left after this one. Yeah, a chicken don't have a chance in the world, man. And they have the nerves to be putting limits on how many packs of wings you can buy at the grocery store now. Really? gonna dog them out too bad but when Popeyes first came out I lived in Indiana well I ain't gonna say when they first came out but I was in Indiana when our first Popeyes had opened up and it was crazy because there was like cars lined up for blocks So my camera ended up running hot, so I had to turn it off to cool off a little bit. This goes to tell you guys just how hot it is out here in Houston. But anyway, my overall thoughts and opinion on the Popeyes ghost pepper wings, they was okay, but if they was like a little bit more fresher, you know, uh, maybe I would have liked them a little bit more better. Again, I really stopped liking Popeyes a long time ago, but it was for like the smallest things. I'm gonna give you guys a prime example. Like, when you go to Popeye's and order food, and I've seen this at a lot of restaurants, but I've mainly seen it at Popeye's restaurants. 
so basically I pulled up to Popeye's multiple times and I ordered like a big pile of food when you order like the combo or the big meals they normally come with biscuits but the problem I have is every time you pull up you always have to ask them for biscuits so if you pull away after you get your bag through the drive through window you notice that you got 20 biscuits in there but you don't have one pack of honey so you have to go back around through the drive through because you already pulled away and then you have to ask for honey just for them to tell you we don't have any honey so anyway if you guys end up trying these um popeye ghost pepper wings man drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what was your thoughts and opinions on the popeye's ghost pepper wings also i need you guys to do me a favor uh something i never talked about with any of my videos which was a really 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 big story on youtube and a lot of people were um really upset about some things that had transpired or took place a couple weeks ago a young lady um kaylee something had faked her own kidnapping she faked like that she was a, a, a abducted and kidnapped um i think the Kaylee Russell, I think it was Kaylee Russell. Apparently, she had the whole media going crazy. Uh, this, I, you know, I didn't follow the whole entire story, but it went a little something like she was driving down the street and she seen a baby walking. The baby had a diaper on and a white shirt, and she pulled over to help the baby, and somebody abducted her and threw her in the car. And come to find out later on on the line that everything that it was all a lie. The story was fabricated, it was made up. Nothing that ever happened to her. She did it just for publicity. And here's the thing about doing stuff for publicity and for attention. You have all the social media in the world. You got YouTube, Instagram, uh, Twitch, you got Thread. You got so many, uh, you, you got Snap. You got so many different social medias where you can do stuff for attention, but faking your own kidnapping is just really sad because you got people out here that's really victims people who really went through real life stuff of kidnappings and still haven't seen their loved ones again. And then to add insult to injury, about a week later, a 11 year old girl friends dared her to pull the same stunt and it didn't go well for her because they arrested that 11 year old girl extremely fast, man. So let me know what you guys think about that story down in the comment section. Do you think that that young lady, Kylie, Carly Russell should get prison time? You think that she should get a slap on the wrist? I feel like if she gets just a slap on the wrist, that there's no lesson learned. She's not gonna take it serious. She's not gonna realize that what she did was extremely catastrophic. Um, so, um, I, you know, I do believe in giving people second chances, but in a situation like this, she needs to really learn a lesson because what she did was really dangerous, had her parents in outrage on the internet, on uh, social outlets, you know, begging for their daughter's safe return. And I don't know how true it is, but I did hear somewhere that the boyfriend that the girl was with, Kylie Russell, her boyfriend ended up breaking with, you know, breaking up with her as he should because, you know, you just can't do stuff like that, man. But comment down below if you guys heard about that story and what's your thoughts and opinion on the whole thing. Again, let me know what you think of these Popeye ghost pepper wings. That's my opinion. Uh, because they weren't fresh but they you know they did have like a little spikes to them anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this off man i love you guys thank you for watching and next until next time it's your boy damien crier gang